This episode of Spectre Sound Studios is brought to you by DistroKid. Get your music online to over 150 different sources. Hey everybody, how's it going? So a couple weeks ago, I did that Line 6 Spider 5 review. You guys remember the one? So I got a lot of comments on that video and I thought I'd share a few of the choice ones with you. Here we go. Just wait for the whitey fuck faces complaining about you destroying the thing. Funny you mentioned that. Let's take a look, shall we? Give it to a music association who's helping poor kid? Hell no. Let's put on a show instead. I think the word is asshole for this one. Well, see, the reason I didn't give it to a kid is because I think I'd rather give something out that wasn't a complete piece of shit. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I've got quite the surprise for you guys. Line 6, the bass player of amp manufacturers. Give that guy a gold star, that was fucking awesome. What a fucking douchebag! I guess he doesn't remember the days of having shitty gear when he first started out. Hell, it's not even shitty gear, he just has his nose in the fucking air! Fuck Glenn Fricker! Yeah, that's why I did a video called Tube Amp on the Cheap, where you can get yourself a PV Windsor for about 200 bucks and rock the fucking world with it. It sounds amazing. And costs actually about the same price as a Line 6 Spider 5 combo. Except this is a 100 watt tube head. Yeah, but I've got my nose in the air. Thanks for not being ignorant. The office space jab was awesome. I'm in the market for a practice amp. What is a good one? Will you maybe do a video on it? Well, you know, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Black Star stuff and the uh, new Boss Katana as well. I hope to get both of those in here very soon and demo those guys and give you guys some honest reviews on that because I think that's really lacking these days. A lot of these re uh, so-called reviews out, out there you know, seem more a little bit more like uh, glorified product advertisements. And generally when I'm doing a, a, a review, and especially a Fearless Gear review, you can be assured that that is an unsponsored video and you will get the absolute truth because I fund those myself. And if you want to see more of those, you can go over to patreon.com slash SMG and help fund the channel because I put those funds right into funding Fearless Gear Reviews. Glenn Fricker is what you call an attention whore and panders to the most mediocre, technical, virtuoso, standard tuning, playing douchebags. He has good information on his videos, but his reviews, like the bands he records and videotapes, are shit. He's too stupid to dial in a tone and too scared to actually touch one of the higher end Line 6 models. Not necessarily too scared to touch one of the higher end ones. I just don't want to throw my money away. The jury's out on the higher end ones. I'd like to get my hands on a Helix at some point, put it through its paces, but I don't know if I should really be dropping the money on it at this point, because I know there's a lot of good amps out there for the money. It just seems like an awful risk considering you know the lack of luck I've had with some of the lower end line six stuff. And as for, as you put it, uh, mediocre, technical, virtuoso, standard, tuning, playing douchebags. Uh, most of the guys I work with actually tune down, so it shows how much you know. This episode of SMG Viewers Comments is brought to you by DistroKid. DistroKid is the service that puts your music online to multiple retailers and saves you the hassle. They'll put your songs up on the majors like iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and Spotify, sometimes within hours, plus over 150 smaller online music retailers as well. Now, what's really cool is that if you're doing cover songs, they will also get you a license so you don't have to worry about all the legal ramifications and you can just concentrate on making music. DistroKid is what I use personally to distribute my music and it's been a huge help. My channel's theme song, The Eagle Has Landed, is distributed through DistroKid, as well as that animated cover I did a while back, Moon on the Water. You guys remember that one. <laughs> DistroKid got me my license and saved me a whole bunch of headaches. It only costs 20 bucks a year and you keep 100% of your earnings. If you follow the link in the description below, you can get a 7% discount. Check it out at distrokid.com slash VIP slash Spectre. Damn it, Glenn, you're lucky I'm an adult or else you only wearing underwear might have violated my safe space. <sighs> yeah, you'll live. Just be glad it wasn't on a poster. This guy is an idiot. If you want proof, just head to his studio tour video and notice the large diaphragm condenser with a membrane pointed at the floor instead of the speaker. Also, watch his tutorials on getting great bass sound where he cuts frequencies below 80 hertz where the fundamentals of the first octave of bass range are located. Man, instead of spewing hate, study, learn, and then offer a valid opinion. I have actually used your videos to demonstrate ignorance fueled bias to some of my students. Yeah, you know, dude, I actually took a couple minutes and uh, checked out some of your mixes, and I kind of feel bad for your students at this point. The reason we cut frequencies on bass guitar and kick drum and that sort of thing below 80 hertz is because in a multi-instrument mix, you have to make room. And when you get more than one instrument playing, those frequencies build up a lot faster than the other ones. 
That's why we make that cut. But keep trying and keep at it. You will get better eventually. Best of luck. Line 6 amps making awesome guitars sound like shit. Well, who fucking cares how long they've been doing it? Just fucking stop. Okay, you know what? I, I totally agree with that statement. But on the bright side, they are keeping underpaid Chinese labor employed. So there is that. I'm sure it was deliberate and he planned on doing this right from the start. I should show this to my friend who works at Line 6. Awesome. And while you're at it, why don't you show them what a good amp sounds like? Maybe they can try building one of those for a change. Can't wait for when my housemate wakes up. I get to call his amp Sonic Diarrhea. Dude, go for it. Awesome. Go up to him, tell him his amp is Sonic Diarrhea, tell him he's an idiot for buying one, and he should go get his money back and buy something better. Never owned any of the Line 6 series amp, but I've heard plenty of great tones produced by them over the last decade. Cheap tips of the lamp sound good when you dial in your tones properly and have good hands, and nobody needs to go out and buy a $1,000 guitar rig to get good sounds anymore. Being a gear snob is typically the mark of a shitty person or someone who is just jealous that those who spent less on their gear can get the same, sometimes better tones. Well, Emma, let me tell you something. You can actually get great tones without spending a lot of money. Uh, you can get yourself a copy of Bias by Positive Grid. That's, you know, about 150 bucks. You can get like a Tone Forge, even the Ben Bruce edition, which is fucking awesome from Joey Sturgis Tone. There is a lot of great options for the bedroom musicians. And in my opinion, the Line 6 Spider 5 is not one of those options. It's not called jealousy. It's called reality. If you unstuck your head from your ass, you would learn that really quick. Who gives a shit what this twat has to say? He's negative about everything he touches. Well, you know, I touched your mom, and I gotta say, that was a pretty negative experience. Good thing I didn't have to pay full price. Best gear review ever. You should have tried to burn it or blow it up. Would have loved to, but in Canada, you tend to get arrested when you blow shit up, so I'm not even going anywhere near that shit. Sledgehammer was just fine. We'll see if it makes another appearance at some point, whenever Line 6 puts out the Spider 6. So then, yeah, I'm here a teenager who wants to buy a guitar for the first time. I go to a local guitar store, get recommended for extra beginner friendly starter package for 200 bucks. A random Stratocaster and Line 6 Spider 15. After two years of playing, I can't believe that I bought that! It's the shittiest sound I've ever heard, with the insane channel sounding like a farting hippo, all the settings resetting every time you turn on the on-off switch or swap the channel, and I'm here not able to replace it with any decent gear, because now I don't have the money which I spent on the best beginner amp in the store. Sadly, you're not alone, you know, that that's the thing. Just remember, when you go to a guitar store, and get advice from the guy working behind the counter, you're getting guitar advice from the guy working behind the counter at a guitar store. Maybe even a chain guitar store. Not exactly the best place for the best in information. You know, check out some YouTube demos, you know, um, especially for you beginner guys, like I said, go check out some of the demos of maybe the Black Star stuff or the, uh, or the Positive Grid stuff. There, there's a lot of great stuff out there for not very much money. So do your homework. And don't trust the guy behind the counter because there's a very good chance he's just there to make a buck and does not give a fuck about your sound. With a notable exception being Keith Wilkinson and the guys at Tecumseh Music. Those guys are awesome. Go see them. Glenn's fan base is straight cancer. Self-righteous, pretentious fucks who are very obviously only bedroom players because they couldn't get along with anyone else having such a shitty attitude. So, looks like somebody just got his Social Justice Warrior membership card and decoder ring. Uh, I'd just like to speak uh, for all 173,000 subscribers here. I hope I'm not going, going too far, but I think we can collectively say fuck that guy. Okay guys, before I wrap it up here, I just want to say um, uh, thank you so much for your support. This is one of the most popular videos we ever did uh, with the Line 6 Spider 5 review. But uh, a few people were confused and thinking, uh, you know, Spectre Sound Studios is a branch of UNICEF, which it is not. However, I don't mind giving away things. I, I just don't like giving away crap. I'm not gonna give away a Spider Mark V to some kid who's just gonna wind up resenting it. Um, I thought I'd give away some quality and I have teamed up with Positive Grid to make that happen. I have four copies of Positive Grid software to give away. I've got two copies of Bias FX and I've got two copies of Bias Amp. And those are gonna be available to four very lucky winners on my mailing list. So you, if you have not signed up for the mailing list, make sure you get on there because you're gonna have a chance to win some really cool software, absolutely free. That's from us here at Spectre Sound Studios and the really cool people over at Positive Grid. And for all the uh, people who still think that somehow I, I did something wrong by taking a sledgehammer to an amp that deserved it, um, you can pick up one of these, the Nobody Cares You're Offended hat, at the spectremedia.ca shop, or you can grab yourself one of these brand new shirts, keep calm and blame the bass player. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for your support. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and have a great weekend, everybody. I'm out of here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.